enter your text here. Interesting facts about flamingos With their notoriously long necks and pink colored feathers, flamingos are a fascinating species. But where do they acquire their bright pink feathers, and why are they so adaptable? Take a look at the top fascinating facts about flamingos. Flamingos are only found in six different species. There are six different species of flamingos, which might be difficult to distinguish. Greater flamingos, smaller flamingos, Chilean flamingos, Andean flamingos, James, or Puna, flamingos, and American, or Caribbean, flamingos are the six species. They got their names either because of their appearance or because of their global location. Flamingos in the wild are pink because they eat a lot of algae and insects. Flamingos like wetland habitats that are rich in algae, larvae, insects, and occasionally shrimp. All of these have a lot of beta carotene, which is a red slash orange pigment. Enzymes break down carotenoids into pigments when flamingos eat them. These are absorbed by lipids in the liver, but they are also deposited in the skin and feathers of flamingos, giving them their red or pink color. The most of the time, flamingos stand on one leg. Some birds stand on one leg naturally, but flamingos must. Because they live in marshes, flamingos lose heat via their feet and legs. They only stand on one leg to keep warm. Heat loss is reduced and energy is conserved by tucking the other leg close to their torso. Fats in the liver, but also in the skin and feathers, give flamingos their red or pink color. A flamingo's neck is made up of 19 bones. In the neck of a flamingo, there are 19 vertebrae. This is the fundamental reason they can move their necks so freely. The fact that you have 19 bones gives you a lot of flexibility, which is essential for life. They can reach down to water and food sources, as well as far back to clean their feathers, thanks to their flexibility. The beaks of different flamingo species are distinct. The beak of the lesser, James, and Andean flamingos is known as a deep keeled bill. These flamingos feed largely algae due to their morphology. The bills of greater, Chilean, and American flamingos are shallow keeled. This means they have a slightly different diet than the rest of the animals because they can eat insects, invertebrates, and tiny fish. It's the flamingo's ankle, not its knee, that bends halfway down its leg. When gazing at a flamingo, the notch on its leg may appear to be an elbow, but it is actually an ankle. The flamingo's feet are visible from the ankle down. Half of the flamingo's legs are actually toes, as a result. A flamingo's feet are practically on the tips of its toes when it stands. There is a joint towards the bottom of the foot that resembles an ankle but is actually more like a knuckle. Because chicks are still developing, it's simpler to distinguish the toes from the leg in them. Flamingos do not tuck their legs in when flying. Because most birds' legs are small in comparison to their bodies, we don't notice where their legs go when they fly. When birds fly, they commonly tuck their legs close to their bodies in order to become more streamlined. Flamingos, on the other hand, do the exact reverse. When in flight, they stretch their legs and maintain them straight which improves the bird's balance and makes it more aerodynamic. Flamingos typically only lay one big egg every year. Between the ages of three and six, a flamingo reaches sexual maturity. Once fertile, a flamingo will only mate and lay eggs once a year. Flamingos construct their nests from of mud, stones, and feathers. Flamingos only fertilize and lay one egg when they mate. Eggs typically weigh 0.25 to 0.3 pounds, 115 to 140 grams. The offspring will hatch in approximately 27 to 31 days. The offspring will hatch in approximately 27 to 30.